Hey class! If you've ever wondered how desert plants photosynth photosynthesize, that's what we're going to talk about right now. Um, this is not on your West Virginia CSOs, so it's going to be some form of extra, extra credit probably on your next exam. So um, you don't have to learn about the type of photosynthesis we're talking about, but it's a really good idea. So um, this type of photosynthesis, like I said, is what desert plants do. Um, it's an adaptation that they have to conserve water because they're in a very dry environment and usually doesn't rain very much. And if it does rain, it's like a downpour. Um, very dry environments also typically are very hot, um, with the exception of the Arctic tundra. But, um, these desert plants are in dry, hot environments, so in the hot and dry, there's a lot of evaporation that occurs, so these plants not only have to worry about water conservation, um, but they also have to worry about um, how they exchange gases because um, they can't lose a bunch of water. So we briefly talked about plants in our ecology unit, but just a little, little review. These are pictures of stomata. Stomata are all over plants' leaves, and they can open and close um, according to how much water is in the environment. Um, if there's a lot of water in the environment, then basically the stomata will pump full of water, and they'll open up. So here's a picture of an open stomata and a closed stomata. All right, here's the process that we're looking at and it's called CAM photosynthesis, C-A-M. Um, that stands for a really long name, but you don't have to know that, CAM photosynthesis. Um, it shows over here that during the day, the stomata are closed. Um, the reason that the stomata are closed during the day, um, like we talked about, dry environment, a lot of evaporation happens, so the stomata are closed to prevent water loss. But when a stomata is closed, that means the plant also can't exchange gases so it's unable to perform um, a full cycle of photosynthesis. But at night, the stomata are open, um, so that's when it does gas exchange. But there's no sunlight during the day. Um, so what this diagram is showing is temporal separation. So the two processes of photosynthesis are separated by time. Um, the Calvin cycle and the light-dependent reactions happen up here during the daytime. Um, and the light-independent reactions down here would happen at nighttime. Now, the adaptation um, that is particular to CAM photosynthesis plants is that they're able to store their carbon dioxide as a four-carbon molecule. Um, we can just call that C4. Um, so what the stomata do at night is um, they take in the carbon dioxide and convert it to the C4 and that C4 allows it to be used and stored um, as just like little chunks of carbon uh, to be used during the day. So the actual adaptation is the C4 molecule. Um, again, CAM photosynthesis happens uh, for dry hot environments um, and it is a way for photosynthesis to be temporally separated um, so that plants can still do photosynthesis in really dry environments and not lose all of their water.